Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're talking to you from one of the special venues in European football, the San Siro, here in the city of Milan. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Venezia up against Inter. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. Not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. And a throw in it's going to be. He could pick out a teammate. Very quick thinking there. Andrea Pinamonti. Barella. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, there are a few better players in the air. He's so dangerous when balls come into the box. So expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Francesco Forte, superbly read and executed. Barella. Now Brozovic. Barella has it. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Now what can Inter do from this position? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Jonsson. Inter with the ball once more. Alessandro Bastoni. Brozovic poor pass Francesco Forte the timing was perfect it had to be Brozovic the ball with Martinez Ivan Perisic Martinez Perisic with the ball now do they mean business on this occasion Pina Monti no way through good work to win it back high up the pitch 
Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Now a second goal for them here. bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and he does produce the yellow card yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow it's a poor challenge you have to say And fired from the flank into the area. A decisive clearance it was. Domen Chirnigoy. Committed challenge. Well, Inza, as you can see, have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. That's a good-looking ball. And options in the centre. Clattered away. The first half here comes to an end. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, Derek, he has to impose himself on this game. He's been far too quiet so far. If they are to get back into this, he needs to make something happen and start getting some shots. And the ball is rolling once more. The pendulum having already swung Inter's way here. Let's see how the second half pans out. Damian. Barella has it. Brozovic. Andrea Pinamonti. Well, they keep passing away. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Going well. Domen Chirnigoy. Nicely timed tackle. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Martinez. Perisic. Excellent passing. Firing it in. And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Francesco Forte. Really good challenge. 30 minutes left for play. Martinez moving it forward. He has time to play it over. Untidy in possession. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Damian. 
Martinez. No, high quality defending. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Martinez. Andrea Pinamonti. Tremendous ball played through. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Substitution time it is. Well, the ball is rolling again. It's been all into so far, and you sense that there could be extra punishment handed out. Chalanolu. Barella has it. And return to Chalanolu. Keeping it moving dynamically. It should be! Fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Playing it short. Barella. Perisic. Well, such a high degree of difficulty. Not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. Marco Modolo. Really good high press. Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, they have the ball once more. Brozovic cutting the ball back. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Oh, oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. Well, as you can see, our cameras remain affixed to Lautaro Martinez. Yet another exceptional performance, and Stuart one to add to the growing list. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.